Here we've got an installation of a Watermate Mini in an 8x8 foot greenhouse. It's powered by a water tank inside the greenhouse, but you could quite equally have a tank outside the greenhouse or even use a tap connection. So with the Mini, you've got your pump, which is actually inserted into the tank. Then the hose goes up to your dual or two zone water valves. And what we've got going on here is a, a two zone system where one of the two zones comes up to a T-joint and then goes all the way around the greenhouse. And then back over the top of the door and then down to the other end of the T-joint. So on this, what we call perimeter pipe, we've got sprayers. We've also got dripper lines, but I've chosen to put sprayers over the staging where we've got seedlings. We've also got dripper lines so they come off the perimeter pipe just with these little takeoff adapters. And then they come down to drippers. And we're feeding tomatoes, one at the base of each plant. You can put as many takeoff lines as you need, but we recommend no more than eight drippers per takeoff line. So on this takeoff line, we've got something slightly different. Instead of drippers, we've got what are called shrublers. And these put out a little spray, a bit like a fountain. And feeding these four tomato plants, I've got two of those. So then the other zone on the two zone system, I've got going up to a pipe in the roof. And here you could connect misters or foggers or further takeoff lines. Alternatively, you could take that second zone down to the ground and potentially run some further ground level watering. The control box is mounted to the greenhouse frame on a bracket with greenhouse bolts. The pipes are mounted to the greenhouse frame using P-clips. Here we've mounted the solar panel inside the greenhouse. It's best to place it outside the greenhouse if you can, but if the only place to put it is inside, then make sure the roof is perfectly clear and it gets as much sun as possible.